One of the most unique tools of the Bushmen is their famous poison arrows. Ung and Unta are going to demonstrate uh, making fence wire into arrowheads using a simple uh, fire, axe head, and a, for an anvil and hammer. And they're going to reshape this mild steel into their uh, trademark or very unique uh, poison arrows. They quickly got a coal spun from their fire sticks and invited me to join their circle in the shade of a false mopane tree. In Kung's hand was a small creature that looked like a dried up ball of dirt. After peeling back the hard shell, I discovered it was actually a sleeping pupa. This tiny, seemingly harmless grub holds within its body a poison so deadly that it could kill any mammal on planet Earth if it reaches the bloodstream. Kung, the village's best hunter, unfurls the grub delicately and begins to poke it, loosening up the insides and preparing for extraction. He then carefully presses down and squeezes out the inside of the worm into the bone bowl. Bowls made out of a giraffe's vertebra. Orange entrails are diluted with water from the gue root found in the outskirts of the village. The gue, they tell me, does not affect the poison. It simply makes it easier to paint the poison onto the sides of the arrows. Applying the venom, the poison, to the arrowheads. The shaft of the arrow is wrapped in raw sinew, which acts as a sponge holding the dried poison until it strikes an animal. The blood then moistens the mixture and releases the poison into the bloodstream. The making of a Bushman arrow is very alien to our idea of an arrow. A modern arrow is a continuous shaft with a head in one end and fletching and a knock on the other. But the Bushman arrow is made out of a piece of wire. One end is beaten flat and filed razor sharp to shape. The rest of the wire is inserted into a piece of grass. It is then wrapped with sinew from the blade down over the grass, which strengthens the weak material and holds it together. The knock is just simply cut into the back like a V and they just hold it in place with their fingertips, kind of pinch style. We spent one afternoon hanging out and shooting arrows at a practice target. The stick, thumb on the stick up and down. And then my finger. Index finger. Just. Okay, so thumb goes in the stick. Finger points. Ah, it just. It, it, it was going nuts. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not the best archer. That arrow kind of went nuts this time. I didn't even shoot it straight. It kind of went and jiggled around in the air. I was nowhere near the target, but when the hunters shoot, their groups are usually about a foot wide at 30 yards. The arrow will take down game if it hits the heart. It's all about shot placement, but if the dart sinks in anywhere else, it's only a matter of time before the poison sets in. A slow, painful death, probably 24 to 48 hours before the game succumbs to the poison and, and falls. I asked the Bushmen what happens to the poison once the animal dies. How do they get rid of the poison? They tell me a human can eat the poison meat and be okay as long as they don't have an ulcer or a cut in their mouth. That wasn't really reassuring. I didn't eat the meat.